This is the new, improved, high power LED driver, TTL controlled with variable intensity. Uh, right now the intensity isn't computer controlled, but it can be easily implemented in the future. The main switching device is an IRF 510 in-channel MOSFET, and it's being driven by an operational amplifier current constant current configuration. Uh, the maximum current output is determined by this potentiometer here, this trimmer pot, and I do that by turning on the high power LED and adjusting it until it's as bright as I think as it reasonably, sh reasonably should ever be, and that lets me set my maximum intensity. Uh, and then, if I were to close up everything, we have a nice little panel here where we have power, a TTL control, um, a manual trigger, and then also intensity adjustment. So this intensity adjustment adjusts from 0 to 100 percent where 100 percent is set by that potentiometer. I also have here a 74HC240 octal inverting buffer and I use this as a high impedance input for my TTL and I also invert it a couple times. I use the first inversion to power the or to switch the gate of a smaller MOSFET. This is a 2N7000, another in-channel MOSFET, which when it's on, which is the case right now, so we have a, a zero signal TTL coming in, inverted becomes a one, so now it's on. This closes the circuit and drains the gate of the MOSFET so that it can't be powered even though it's currently set up uh, with a potentiometer. Uh, and then it's inverted again to power the LED on the bottom. Actually, no, the, the uh, first inversion powers the LED on the bottom. The second inversion powers this LED on top. So when the light is triggered, it switches from this backlit blue illumination to white illumination. So even if I don't have an LED attached, if I'm just looking at this device, I can visually assess the triggering if it were connected to a computer or something by looking at the light coming out the holes. I think that explains most of it. Uh, the power coming in is pretty straightforward. It comes from an old printer power supply, goes through a couple linear power regulators. It's an LM7812 and an LM7805, 12 and 5 volt linear regulators. So we'll close this up here, and it takes some creativity to get it all to fit together, so I'm not going to do that while we're waiting. Um, but again, here's the intensity control. And right now I have it hooked up to a 10 watt LED, which is pretty serious, but because it's too bright for the camera to see, I'll just kind of aim it away for now. <laughs> I probably should have cleaned my desk before this. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, so if I push the button, right now power is all the way at zero. I'll slowly turn it up. And then now we can see light coming out the LED. So if I were to push it, light's coming out, and let's go ahead and do a maximum light test. I'll shine it on the that region over there, and then I'll turn up the power. Wow, that's pretty serious. Um, and then also I wanted to demonstrate it can be controlled with TTL. And as an example, I have here an Arduino, which is sending some TTL signals just illuminating an, illuminating an LED at this point. And I can make sure I have a common ground. This normally occurs when I screw the top and the bottom together. And I'll stick a little cord in the TTL hole. And there's a gator clip here. And connect it here. And there we go. Um, it is powering the high power LED exactly like it is the TTL signal controlling the LED. And I can still adjust intensity from very weak. Make it a little easier to see. Very weak to very strong. And the next logical step is to have the intensity control done in software, which is easy to do with a digital potentiometer or maybe even a smoothed pulse width modulated signal to adjust voltage on the gate.